What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jay and in this video I'm going to do a quick review of Kevin David's Amazon FBA Ninja Corp. For those of you that want a little background on me, this is actually my second Amazon course that I purchased. I purchased Tanner J. Fox's Amazon Seller Mastery course back around mid-June, but I felt like when I took that course there was some information that was missing, especially when my product was going to arrive, and that I needed more information to be more knowledgeable about what I was going to sell and to succeed when my product actually arrived. So I spent the $497 on Tanner's course, but I felt like I needed a little bit more, especially after about a month had passed by. I think it was around mid-July and I was talking to my girlfriend about doing you know, or buying another course and I saw a lot of information on Kevin and Kevin's videos. I also saw a lot of videos about the success of Kevin's students and the information difference between the two courses. Finally, in mid-July, I purchased Kevin's course, signed up, got the email confirmation after I did, and after I started peeling through Kevin's course, I started to notice some things and it really opened my eyes. So the question for everybody is, is Kevin's course a scam? Is Tanner's course a scam? Kevin's course 100% is not a scam. The first thing that I did after going through just a few modules of Kevin's course is I immediately changed my entire product listing that I had. I changed my bullet points, I changed my photos, I changed all of my backend keywords and the way that I was researching how to actually get them. I pretty much gutted my entire listing and started over from scratch. I was just kind of finding that there was so much information in Kevin's course that I almost felt like I needed to start over with what I was doing. Information that he was giving me was so good and it was gonna increase my chances of doing well in Amazon FBA that I really just kind of needed to rethink the entire process of what I was doing and how I was actually doing it. And I saw video reviews on YouTube talking about similar experiences for other people. If you take Tanner's course and then you take Kevin's course afterwards, it's, it's basically like a light bulb moment going off in your head. After you get through the basic modules that he has and you get into a little bit more of the meat of the actual course, it's like ding after ding after ding in your head over and over again, and you're just having these continuous wow moments. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that Kevin's course is 100% perfect. There are definitely some things that could be approved upon in terms of the delivery and the actual content that's there. But overall, the information in Kevin's course is the best that I've seen. It's extremely good, very solid. So now it's been you know over two weeks since I launched my first product. The product that I selected was from Tanner's course or after taking that course, all the back end work and all the product listing and the giveaways, everything on that end has been from Kevin's side and I've actually found some success with a product that I'm really not supposed to be successful with. And as I've gone through you know, PPC, pay-per-click on Amazon right now, some of the modules in Kevin's course are a little bit confusing with PPC and how to do it. There's definitely some overlap as he's updated certain videos and those have crossed over maybe into other ones, the information that's already there. So that can be a little bit confusing at first, but I think PPC in general can be a little bit confusing for anybody. But I think what most people need to remember when they're buying a course like this or any other course is, one, this isn't gonna be easy. Two, it's not for everybody. It's not something where somebody's just gonna hand you something and oh, here's a bunch of easy free money. You're going to have to compete with a lot of really good sellers on Amazon that have already been doing this for six months, a year, or longer. You're gonna really have to study the course well, review all the modules multiple times, just to make sure you're on top of your game and you're fully prepared for any adjustments you need to make to your listing, or your orders, or how to improve your product. What I found in this course is basically that Kevin's giving you the best skill set you can possibly get in an Amazon FBA course to potentially succeed. Whether you succeed or not is pretty much entirely in your hands. And your success is gonna depend on the quality of your product research, how much work you're willing to put into this. I've put tons of hours into this just in the last two months going through product research, contacting suppliers, you know, thinking back and forth over my head, is this the right decision or not? There has been a ton of work that I've done to get my first product launched, and now my second product is launching here in about the next seven days. Just kind of remember that you're getting a skill set, you're learning something, but you really need to go out and apply it, and then you've got to be flexible to what situations might occur and not get too emotional in certain situations or decisions, but really apply what you're learning and then learn to adjust if you need to. Another thing that's been extremely helpful to me are Kevin's freight forwarders. One freight forwarder in particular saved me over $350 on one air shipment of products, which for me is absolutely huge because I can go and take that $350 and use it for product giveaways, or I can use that for pay-per-click advertising. That extra money is gonna come in handy to help me hopefully succeed with my product. So absolutely two thumbs up for Kevin's freight forwarders. Cheaper, faster, and better than any freight forwarders I've seen online for any service. So what does it take 
to get started in Amazon FBA financially? Well, you've got $997 for Kevin's course. You have the Jungle Scout app, which is gonna set you back about another $197 or so if you get the pro version. With Kevin's discount, you get a $995 price point on Merchant Words, but then you should also be prepared to spend another $20 or so a month on Keyword Inspector. And there may be some other programs that you need software-wise as well. The Jungle Scout web app runs $30 to $40 a month, depending on how long you need that for. It's a subscription-based service, but it helps you track products over the course of a few months if you need to, so you can see those sales. I would recommend probably over that though using the I-99 track method. I think it's better unless you're unable to track a product because the seller is not allowing you to do so. Some other things you need to be aware of before you go out and you know spend $1,000 plus on a course and a bunch of software is you need to start an LLC, you need to trademark your product or brand, and you also need to be aware that you'll need a website to actually file a trademark with Amazon to protect your brand. So between filing an LLC, creating a website, trademarking your brand, you're looking at another $600 to $1,000. So between the course and starting a business the right way, you're looking at almost $2,000 before you buy a product. One thing you wanna be aware of is that when you go out and you do that research for your first product, you wanna typically avoid something that's selling for a really low cost on Amazon. You don't wanna run into a situation where you're selling the same product as a bunch of other people just in your Facebook group or a lot of other Amazon sellers that you're gonna to have to compete with at a really low price point. So you should be prepared to have at least another 1,500 to three or $4,000 for your product so you're not selling a product that sells for really cheap on Amazon where you're competing with as many sellers and as many people overall. As I was going through and doing product reviews for people, I noticed in particular that I was seeing a lot of product overlap, especially on the cheaper end. They were products that I was reviewing for different people, two or three different people selling the exact same thing in these private Facebook groups. One thing you have to remember is that Tanner's private Facebook group consists of about 3,000 people at this point, and Kevin's has another 1,000 people in it. If you're gonna take this Amazon FBA journey and you wanna do it the right way, be prepared to have three to $5,000 set aside, not on a credit card, but cash that you can afford to spend if that first product or two that you launch isn't a success. It may not succeed. Hopefully it does, but there's a chance that it may not succeed. Don't go into this thinking you're gonna rush into it. It's a get rich quick scheme and that you're gonna flip a profit really quickly because the odds of you doing that, especially with a cheaper product or one that a lot of people can sell are very slim at this point. So do it the right way, have that money set aside, Take the process slow, don't rush in, and don't expect an extremely quick and high profit. So knowing these risks and knowing the costs involved, if you wanna do it, definitely take the plunge I did. I couldn't be happier about it. I'm glad that I bought two courses. I'm glad that I learned a lot of things in Tanner's course, basically kind of the framework of it, and that I learned all the extra rich little things in Kevin's course to go along with that. And whether I succeed or not with my products, it almost doesn't matter to me at this point. Of course, I do wanna succeed, but if I don't, I've learned a lot of information that I can still use down the road business-wise. For me, buying a course, if I had to do it all over again and I had one or other to pick, I'd 1,000% pick Kevin's course. The information is there to help you succeed, but you're gonna have to get up and really put that hard work in when it comes to product research, the negotiation process, and actually listing your product the right way. If you found this video helpful, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button below.